Welcome to Accurate Physics. In this lecture, I am explaining a problem related to rolling motion. A 105 kilogram solid ball rolls with sliding down a ramp. The ramp is 7.5 meter high and 10.6 meter long. How fast is the ball moving at the bottom of the ramp? So our goal is to find speed of this ball at the bottom of this ramp. How can we solve this problem? What approach we need to apply? Since speed connects directly to kinetic energy, let us try with energy. So how to use the energy approach to solve this problem? Let us start with the conservation of energy principle because the energy at the top of this inclined plane will be same as the total energy, total mechanical energy at the bottom of this ramp right here. So let me write down our equation of conservation of energy. So at the top of this ramp, uh, the kinetic energy is denoted by Ke initial plus potential energy is pay a Pe initial plus if some kind of work done is there, let me write down a word that is the W that is worked on because of some other kind of forces. It might be normal force or other than gravity. Okay, probably friction or something else. This must be equal to the kinetic energy the final, final kinetic energy at the bottom of this ramp plus final potential energy at this point. Okay, so this is our starting point. Starting from here, we can solve this problem easily. This is the common equation for conservation of energy, right? This one here. But at the top, kinetic energy is zero. At this point, kinetic energy is zero because at this point, this ball was at rest condition. Because of that, let me cancel this term because velocity is zero at the top. So we can cancel this term. The kinetic energy will be zero. No, no motion means no kinetic energy. Okay. But at the bottom of the ramp, S will be zero because when this ball arrives here at the bottom what will happen this height this height will be disappeared right no height no more height so at the bottom S will be zero so these are two things we have to know okay so if that's the case the potential energy at the bottom this term will be zero Okay, so if height of this ramp is S, the potential energy at the top will be MZS, right? And let's write down W as W and kinetic energy K final. Okay, we arrived up to here. Now, what is the kinetic energy at the bottom? The kinetic energy at the bottom will be two parts. One is half mv squared and the other is half i omega squared. Why? The ball is translating as well as rotating. It is rolling. So we can write down this, this type of kinetic energy that is the translational kinetic energy and this kinetic energy which is the rolling kinetic energy, okay? So now, what is moment, moment of inertia I for the solid ball? This symbol here is moment of inertia, right? For the solid ball, we know moment of inertia I will be equal to 2 by 5 
m r square where r is the radius of the sphere and m is mass of the sphere what is angular velocity angular velocity omega is related to the linear velocity because in this case solid body rolls without slipping so v equal to r omega where r is the radius of the ball from there we can write down omega is equal to v divided by r okay so we can write down above equation which is this equation the kinetic energy is sum of this translational kinetic energy plus rotational kinetic energy final kinetic energy i mean and let me let me go down and write it down mgs which is potential energy at the top plus w is equal to half mv square plus half i omega square now if i sort of values of i i is from right here and omega from this one so omega square let me square this omega to get this implies that implies that omega square is equal to b square divided by r square okay so let me insert all these value to get mb square plus half i i means 2 by 5 mr square and what is omega square b square divided by r square i can cancel this r square and r square and then one little thing remaining will be 1 by 2 mb square plus 2 will be cancelled with 2 then 1 by 5 mb square right if you add 1 1 half mb square plus 1 by 5 mb square you will get something like 7 by 10 mb square so our final equation is mgs plus w equal to 7 by 10 mb square okay so you get here now is there any work done because of some other forces other than gravity for example there could be frictional force or there could be normal force in this case normal force doesn't do any work right because there is perpendicular relationship i mean normal force is perpendicular to the motion so motion is down in inclined plane look at here down in inclined plane and the normal force is acting in this direction right which is normal if force is acting perpendicular to the displacement then work done will be zero remember that fact so work done by normal force is zero no work done okay so what about the frictional force is there any work done because of the friction okay let's think about that there is no sliding that means there is no displacement at the friction force it means friction doesn't do any work as well okay so what else could happen that loss the the energy is there any type of heating off no why because the ball will heat up only if it slides but it is not sliding right it is rolling this is the condition for condition of rolling without sliding right so no heating off is taking place so no mechanical energy being turned into thermal energy by friction that means we can say w which is the work work done because of some other forces other than gravity is zero so this term here will be zero and mgh is equal to 7 by 10 mb square okay 
we get this equation. Now, this mass is cancelled. It's the same quantity. This is mass of the ball. So, I can write down Gs is equal to 7 by 10 B square. If I further simplify this equation, I will get B equal to 10 divided by 7 Gh. Okay. So, now I can insert all the values of the variables G and H and get the speed of the rolling ball. Okay. So, B equal to 10, 10 multiplied by 9.8 meter per second squared multiplied by 7.5 meter. Let me put all these things in my calculator and get answer. 10 divided by 7 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by 7.5 uh then the square root of this quantity is giving me something 10.2 meter per second okay so this is speed of the ball at the bottom of the ramp at this point okay here when ball arrives here the speed is 10.2 meter per second okay did you notice how mass and radius disappears from this equation while uh, we solved this problem mass and radius terms disappears right what does this mean it means mass and the size of the ball doesn't matter it will have the same speed whether mass is 10 kilogram or 105 kilogram whatever it only depends on the height also in the problem if you look at the problem the length of the inclined plane is given it also doesn't matter with the length the only thing that depends the final speed of this ball is the height and acceleration due to gravity okay